Hi everyone, this is Andy from Mosto Sele. I'm here to show you how to use my uh, Bone Breaker for Blender to get your Unreal mannequin to play nice and animate. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is obviously download this. Um, I've already downloaded it, uh, but this is a fresh computer with a fresh install of everything. So, um, bear with me for a second. In the download sections, uh, you're going to have the little RAR file. The RAR file contains itself the zip file and a mannequin. I included the mannequin just for completeness sake. It's not needed. This is what you're going to be installing. So extract the zip file and you don't need to extract it any further than that. Blender takes care of it. So open Blender. This is just your default installation. Nothing's been changed yet. I'm just going to delete everything off the screen and I'm going to go into the tool and user preferences and I'm going to install the add-on from file. I'm going to go into the desktop which should be just right there and select it and install add-on from file. Uh, that's going to be coming up under bone breaker right there. You can just click on it and enable it, but because this is a new installation I need to make sure that Rigify is enabled as well. So we're just going to enable that and save user settings and for completeness sake I'm going to restart Blender because you know normally it starts up with everything just fine. You can see the tab there so we're good to go. Alright, I'm going to wipe everything off the stage and with a blank, completely clear sheet, I'm just going to start importing. But what am I going to import? Okay, so I want to modify a default animation from the Anim Starter Pack. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to open up the finger for walking forward with the iron sights and bring it back into it so that the finger for shooting is not on the trigger. Uh, I'm going to export this by going to Asset Location and clicking on export. This will just automatically make me do that on the desktop. I'm just going to overwrite what file was there and make sure that you click your little preview export mesh because you want that in there to see what's happening. So you export this and you're good to go. Once you import it back into here you can find it of course on the desktop where I saved it. Once you import it back into here it will basically allow you to start the process now the zoom is set in because of the settings that have just been changed. The importer takes care of setting everything for you except for, and this might be something I add later on, but your clipping view uh, right here is set to 10 meters. I usually have that to 500 meters and there you go. So you can see the whole stage. Now if I click to it all it should automatically rig create the rig and it does take a little bit to run but after it is done it should return there you go the little rigify rig which is what you're used to um, probably seeing if you have used rigify before now this already will move the character around but remember we want to have access to the animation from unreal so you know we just click on do it all and the program will do everything for you. It will key every frame with the needed bones and parse everything it needs to parse. Now that I have this, I can actually work on the animation a little. So this is the finger I'm interested in. Um, can barely see on such a small screen. Oh, and one thing, you know, we can probably turn off the face and, you know, stuff like that so that it's not in the way. That's just Rigify features. Um, so we're going to select all of those bones right here and also the this one. Right? No, not that one. Not that one either. That one. Uh, so to deselect I'm going to push C and just middle mouse button click on the bone which is a little tricky for the arm bone right there. But there, that did it. Okay, so clear the animation on those for with a G, R, and uh, S for scale, and that will open up the finger automatically. 
Now this frame is not saved or keyed. So um, as you can see, there is all, all of the keys that this finger moves are in here. So we don't want that finger to move other than, you know, of course, from, from where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to come back to frame one, do that again, G, R, S with Alt pressed. And then I'm going to click on remove all selected to remove all of the keyframes for that finger. Now I'm going to adjust that finger a little bit because um, I want it to slightly come up. So I'm going to rotate up. That is an R, and then I'm going to lock it to the X axis, bring it up just a little, and then R again for rotate again, and on the Z axis I'm going to open it up just a little so that maybe it sits right next to the gun's side. Well, at least that's the idea, right? Uh, <laughs> when you hook up the gun, obviously you need to fine tune the animation or use IK. Maybe you could add an IK finger to the mannequin, but that's another story. Alright, so this is this is it. This is the animation. Um, I'm going to have to key it now for it to uh, work. So let's start with adding a keyframe. And then this will proceed and be all over the animation because there is, a, you know, because I deleted all of the other uh, of the other ones, so I can actually deselect, or it doesn't matter if I select or deselect all. I can just key all frames right here, and it will automatically take care of getting everything ready for the export. Now, if I export the FXB file, again, I want to be on the desktop, and uh, let's rename it to something different, so we know the difference when we import it back open finger export the FXB if you see this it means you're good to go you can click on this layer to go back to what you're used to seeing and make sure you go back to pose mode if you need to animate again alright so that's that being done anyway exported I can go here and I can click import and bring it back into Unreal to see that everything worked fine. Open that, select the default UE4 animation skeleton, which is probably this one, but it, since the animation was from the starter pack, I'll use the one from the starter pack. Um, I don't need to convert the scene. I'm, after all, I'm just re-importing the animation. So go ahead and just import, and there it goes. Here comes Persona. So this is so tiny to look at but here it is and proof perfect is that my finger is open uh, while I am walking forward with the rifle well that's it happy animating hope this helps a lot of people you guys have fun signing out